Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Motorola Moto E that is originally from Verizon here in the US. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google Account Lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps here, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue, we need to either verify the previous screen lock pin that was used, or down below, there's a button that says use my Google account instead. And if we tap on that, it'll bring us to the screen that gives us the option to sign in with the previous Google account that was on the device. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. In these cases, the seller uh, usually disappears quickly after the sale, since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices, and the seller or the buyer is left with a totally unusable device, since obviously they're not going to have any of the previous user's information. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this model without having to have the previous user's login information. It's a procedure that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing here with this one. So actually, as I've been speaking, I've been running our unlock program on the device that goes ahead and takes care of that lock for us. Now that that's finished up, we should be able to see that after it restarts, that we can get all the way through the setup process without seeing that Google lock screen. So just hold on here while it finishes rebooting. Okay, so it is now fully restarted. We're back at the initial start screen, so we can begin going through the steps here step by step. We're gonna skip the initial messages about needing the phone to be activated because we don't need that. We're also gonna skip Wi-Fi because we don't need that. Date and time can be skipped. We have to read and agree to all of the Google services here now. And these are very good indications because previously we could never get to any of these options with the Google Lock enabled. We would have seen it by now already. Okay, we don't need any of the Verizon services, so we're just going to toggle those off and keep going. Then there's Motorola things to read and agree to. And... There we go. We're all the way through the setup steps. We've got the home screen loading up here. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we go under about phone, we can indeed see that we have a Moto E. Now Motorola has been making these for quite a long time. So this is actually the seventh generation of the Moto E. It was really first released back in 2020. So it's sometimes called a Moto E7. Uh, but then the model number here, the XT2052-2PP, that's a specific model number of this specific phone from Verizon. So if you have one of these Verizon Moto E's with the Google Lock enabled, we would love to help you get that off of there. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. 
Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.